If you can't see danger coming, you really can't avoid it. That's the argument put forth by the family of a young woman killed trying to make a left onto Dixie Highway in LaSalle Township. Jamie Edmonds shows us the dilemma many drivers face, but also the possible solution. This right here in LaSalle Township is the intersection where 21 year old Mariah lost her life. And not a day goes by that her parents don't think about how it could have been prevented. She touched so many people's hearts, it was unbelievable. Great student, done anything for anybody. It's gone. It's still so hard for Ken Heinzerling to talk about the accident that claimed his daughter's life. I mean, she literally couldn't see because of all this. Look how high the, the abutments are right here. These weeds were much higher. On July 27th, 21 year old Mariah was stopped at this stop sign on South Outer Creek Road in LaSalle Township. She was trying to make a left onto South Dixie Highway. That's when a pickup truck slammed into her Mercury Mariner, pushed it more than 130 feet. She later died at a Toledo hospital. Heinzerling says he doesn't blame the driver. It's nothing to do with him. This is just strictly about this. He says the 55 mile per hour speed limit on Dixie Highway is too fast. He says the weeds near the road and the bridge signs create a blind spot that makes it almost impossible for drivers on South Outer Creek to see and drivers on Dixie Highway to see them. Nothing will bring back Mariah, but fighting for changes could prevent this tragedy from happening again. This has ripped us apart. Well, you got to put the money dollar over your daughter's life. Is it worth it? No, it's not. People need to wake up, slow down, and somebody needs to do something. And I'm not stopping until they do it. In LaSalle Township, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. We got in touch with the Michigan Department of Transportation. They are ordering an official signal study for that location. Depending on the data they get back, changes could be made.